Big Sabre hip brace can be configured to help provide protected range of motion to the hip following minimally invasive hip procedures or offloading for patients with mild to moderate hip osteoarthritis. The Xaber hip brace combines the latest in Donjoy technology post-operative care with its patented rotation strap, easy range of motion settings, and a comfortable wraparound design. This video focuses on tips and tricks to facilitate patient fitting. First, instruct the patient on how to trim the waist belt as the brace is usually fit to accommodate swelling and fluid retention common immediately following surgery. Most patients will prefer the belt tighter over time. For patients with a smaller waist, remove the logo and Velcro the waist belt over the hinge. The extension strap can be used to lengthen the waist strap if needed. These are typically used for patients with a waist circumference larger than 55 inches. To do this, remove the alligator strap and buckle on the waist strap. Apply the extension strap and thread the strap through the buckle. Finish by reattaching the alligator strap. If instructed by a healthcare provider, the hinge may be removed and the abduction Y strap installed. Note, it is not recommended to use the abduction Y strap with the hinge. The hinge system is attached by Velcro to the soft brace. Remove the hinge system from the brace. Clip in the abduction Y strap in the green keyholes located on the front and back of the waist belt. Ensure the dial on the Y strap is popped out and the strap end is extended. Open the lower thigh strap and if present, remove the rotation strap from the Velcro. Hold the Y strap end to the frontmost Velcro on the T strap and trim the strap end. Remove the Velcro strap holder from the accessory pack. Place the Velcro strap holder on top of the Y strap end. If using a rotation strap, apply the rotation strap back on top of the Velcro strap holder. Fold the T strap forward and over both straps, Velcroing securely. Follow the same fitting process as mentioned previously in this video. The hinge length can be shortened if the patient feels too much resistance when flexing the hip. Simply remove the hinge from the thigh strap and locate the button on the cuff. Depress this button and telescope the cuff inwards to shorten the brace. Flexion and extension can easily be adjusted by pulling the locks outward. The hinge permits abduction above and below the hinge. Use the included adjustment tool to adjust the pivot points above and below the hinge. Be careful not to over adjust the abduction points as the plane of the hinge will adjust as well. If a patient has accidentally removed both the abduction Y strap and the rotation strap, follow this procedure. Unwrap the T strap. Apply the rotation strap to the front of the T strap. Locate the Velcro strap in the accessories pack and place it on top. Place the Y strap on top of the Velcro holder and wrap the T strap forward. Additional keyholes are included with the brace. These additional keyholes can be used to move the red rotation strap closer or past the patient's midline to improve leverage and pull to prevent external rotation. Note, to use these keyholes, you must have a rotation strap that is not trimmed. It is best to identify the need for this prior to trimming the rotation strap. The sewn seam should be on the top. Each keyhole is slightly angled. Find the appropriate keyhole and place it on the waist strap at or past the patient's midline. Attach the rotation strap and trim appropriately. If a patient presents with a broken red keyhole, usually one of two things have happened. One, the patient has tightened the strap way too much, or two, the patient tightened the strap while seated and broke the keyhole when they went upright or laid down. If this happens and the patient was fit using the existing red keyhole on the brace, you can replace the red keyhole with the rotation strap keyholes provided in the accessory pack. The sewn seam should be on the top. Each keyhole is slightly angled. Find the appropriate keyhole and place it on the waist strap as close as possible to the original keyhole. Even if the rotation strap has been trimmed, the strap should still be able to attach to the new keyhole. Make sure to instruct the patient not to over tighten the straps or tighten them while seated. The straps are meant to disengage and become loose when the hip is flexed or the patient is seated. 